Hello, Mr. Flusso and the rest of the physics class. I present to you the trombonophone. Uh, it was a lot of fun to make. Uh, how it works is it's a, a tube instrument, one long open tube, which instead of having a bunch of open tubes where you like pan pipes, it has only one which is adjustable. As you can see here, the sliding mechanism, which trombones are known for. Uh, how it works is I'd use the speed of sound and air formula speed of sound and air divided by two times the frequency, I had to look up the frequencies, equals the length. And so then what I did is I, um, on the tubes that go inside, I have uh, tape markers where I wrote down the notes to help myself. Um, and they align with both sections. Uh, it was difficult. And I had to choose a low, uh, low note for the song because of the instrument. It's pretty large. Um, and the diameter is um, pretty small, so it didn't affect the pitch too much, but I still added the radius um, at the end of the formula uh, to account for the open pipe. Anyways, it takes a lot of energy to play, so I've been stalling. But without further ado, twinkle, twinkle, little star. Come on. It doesn't like going back up. It fell out. Hang on. Oh man, no closure. And then I'm sure you're wondering the classic about a trombone uh, is you can slide smoothly between uh, pitches where other instruments have uh, plugging holes or maybe half cover hole. Yes. It doesn't like going back up though.